Okay. Exercise. Let's try something. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Find A, the standard matrix, or T of X is equal to 3X. Um, where T goes from R2 to R2. So, exercise, pause and try that. Pause, 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 try, try, try. Okay, the answer here is A is equal to, well, you just triple B1. That's your first column, and you triple B2. That's your second column. Okay, example. Let me harder. Let let's see. Let T from R two to R two B rotation. Um, counter clockwise by pi over six. Followed by a vertical expansion by a factor of two. Find a, and by a, I mean the standard matrix. So we have uh, two things happening here. Okay, so a couple things I forgot to mention, one of which is rotations are linear. Um, you can prove that, it can be proved. Uh, didn't want to spend time in it, on it in this video. So rotations are linear. Um, this vertical expansion, the vertical expansion, what is that? Well, it's you're multiplying the y component uh, by two in this case, that's what it means. So rotations are linear, so are vertical expansions. And further, when you do them back to back, what you get is also linear. Okay, so this is all not obvious, but I want to just talk about standard matrices for now. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, A is going to be T of E1, T of E2 again. So for T of E1, What do I need to do? Well, I need to start with E1 and then say, I got rotation by pi over six. So what does that do? <clears throat> um, well, what I get is uh, cosine pi over six and sine pi over six. which is uh, root three over two and one over two. Okay, that's my rotation. So my rotation does that to the vector E1. Let's start here, A1. E1 is equal to one zero. Then you apply your rotation, you get this. Um, how do I know you get this? Well. I'm just looking at my rotation matrix up here. This guy right there. So that's what happens to 
E1 when you rotate. And then we're going to vertically expand. by a factor of two. So that means I'm multiplying this component by two. And there we go, there's my T of E1 there. And E2 is zero one. When I rotate, when I get uh, what, minus sine five or six, sine cos five or six. So how do I know that? Well, I look at my rotation matrix that I found above, and I look at the second column. Minus a half, root three, root two. We then do the vertical expansion and you get um, no change to the first component when you double the second. T of E two. Okay, copy all that down. Yeah, that's already. And I should add a little title here, subtitle. Hmm. Okie donkey. So my matrix A is just taking my two results here and putting them into a matrix, root 3 over 2, 1, first column, obtained from here, and minus a half, root 3, obtained from 